You are welcome to Remit Trade Academy. My name is Paradise and I will be bringing you this cryptocurrency video right now. We've seen this very strong bearish candle to the downside, which is very bad for Bitcoin. And right now the price is at 39.9k level. And on the 4R chart, I was talking about the broadening which and it's supposed to move to the upside and break this resistance. But the opposite is what happened right here. Market come back right down, which is very, very bad. And on ETH as well, we see the market break down from this level of constant to this area where I was looking at the market to pause if we see a breakout and on the 4R chart this is a rectangular pattern which is a bearish pattern I talked about it yesterday as well also on the Bitcoin dominance we see the market rise a little bit to the upside and right now the market is down to retest this very resistance what are we expecting in the market where the market is right now after this insane drop to the downside on BTC and ETH all of these and more in today's video so watch the video till the end if you are new to this channel please help subscribe to the channel hit the like button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification for more updates like this every single day also check the channel for other educational content leave a like and share this video right here on the BTC USDT one day chat yesterday I talked about the market coming from this area to the upside and what we see right here is the opposite we see the market drop right Right down with this move now this is an indication that the bulls are no longer in the market that means for the fact that the bs could break this level of 0.618 on the fibonacci not only that we see a breakout on this level of strong support where the market moved from in the past to the upside from this area and market drop right down to this very level not only that we've seen the market go down a little bit below the 0.786 on the fibonacci which is the last point on the fibonacci right at this area which is very very bad for bitcoin guys that means markets have just little move to get to this very level of support where the market moved from in the past and this means that the bas are very very much in the market like i always say without a strong bullish candle to the upside and an increase in volume that means to take a trade for the market to move to the upside is not necessary and if you look at this area from this level right down there is no significant increase in volume neither we see any significant bullish candle around this area to the downside and that is why i have not given any long position anywhere on the various groups on btc and also on other cryptocurrency and right now what i am expecting is the market to continue down a little bit before we could see the market go up so i am expecting the market to come back down a little bit not necessarily coming down to this level of support right here although the possibility exists right now on the btc usdt one day chart if you look at the four hour chart here i was looking at this broadening which and i said if you see the market move from this area from this level to the upside and you see a breakout on this level of resistance that means market is going to go up but we do not even see an increase in volume from this area neither a significant bullish candle that pushed to the upside rather we see this bearish candle that go below and cross below this very support line and the market begin to move back down now what am i expecting in the next coming days on the immediate short term right now i am expecting the market to go up a little bit and then continue to the downside this is what i I am paying attention to right now on the BTC USDT 4 hour chart the market should move a little bit to the upside that means after this impulsive move to the downside market should retrace up before the market will come back down again so this is what I am expecting in the market right now on the BTC USDT 4 hour chart on the one day chart on ETH right here I was talking about this consolidation and that when you see consolidation in the market that mean market is gathering momentum that strength to break to either side and right now we see the market break below this level of support and the market come back right down to this very area i've been talking about this area for some time and i said if you see a breakout on this level of support right here then we're going to see the market come back right down to this very area the reason why because this is resistance level this resistance here which is support at this area which is now support at the present time right at this point so what i am expecting right now is the market to stay above this 
very area. Ethereum is still looking very good because if you look at it, market move from here to the upside and right now come back right now. This retracement is about 50% retracement right now, which is also very healthy for a good retracement before the next impulsive move to the upside. But right now, I am still expecting the market to remain above this very line of support because a breakdown below this line of support can send Ethereum back into this level of resistance. So if we see resistance right here, which you turn support at this area, if you see a breakout below this area, market can come back right down into this level of support, which was resistance in the past on this area. So I am expecting Ethereum on the one day chart right here to stay above this very level of support at this area because a breakdown will send the market back to the downside. ETH USD 4 R chart, I was talking about this very rectangular pattern and I say this is a bearish rectangle which is a bearish continuation pattern although I was looking for the market come back up from this area and then test this level and we see a breakout and after the breakout i was expecting the market to go up but what we see right there is the market continue right down in continuation with this bearish rectangle and right now what i am expecting in the market is a little bit of move to the upside in form of a retracement before the market to continue to the downside so this is what i am paying attention to right now on eth usdt for our chart the market go back right down in an impulsive move and then right now retracement retracement should come in before continuation of the impulsive room. So this is what I am looking out for on ETH USDT for our chart. That means if you want to short this market, don't short right here. Allow the market to move up a little bit and then you can short within this area after you see a strong bearish candle to the downside for futures trading. And that is only for experienced traders. So this is what I am paying attention to on ETH USDT right here on the Bitcoin dominance yesterday I was talking about the market come back from this area to the downside and after that a retest on this very level of resistance will make the market to move to the upside but the opposite is what we see market push up a little bit create a new high higher than previous high right here and the market go back right down drastically and right now market is at this level of resistance here resistance here which is now support at this very area if market continue right down to this level of support we will see the market move up from this very area of support right there that means if you see the market come back right down to into this area we're going to see the market move up and if market move up from here then on bitcoin we're going to see the market move up as well and eth is going to do very very well so this is what i am paying attention to on the bitcoin dominance on btc and eth on the immediate short term what do you think about the market right now do you think bitcoin is going to move from here to the upside or we're going to see the market continue right down to this very level of strong support at $37,000. Comment below in the comment section. If you are new to this channel, please help subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to turn on the notification for more updates like this every single day. Also, check the channel for other educational content. Leave a like and share this video. If you've not registered on Binance, $600 bonus on Bybit KuCoin and OKX, link in the description of this video and do your registration right now. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you in the next video.